and gentlemen, out of left field, Sharon Rogers has returned to Marvel Future Fight. Holy crap, boys. Captain America Sharon Rogers returns. With her unwavering determination and unbreakable shield, she's ready to fight for what's right. Join her in the battle for peace and justice today. And she's getting a tier four. Wowie, wow, wow. Good thing I tier four Thanos recently. Yay. Uh, this is huge. This, and this came out of nowhere. I, I had, like, I was literally, well, I was having stomach issues. So I was in between my bed and the bathroom and my bed and the bathroom. Um, but I had no idea. Holy shit. This just came out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, so this confirms, well, it doesn't confirm. This was what we were suspecting uh, insofar as how they wanted to handle the um, the gap, right? So we talked about this before uh, where there was, sorry, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to the sneak peek uh, a little bit more in just a bit. But what I first wanna talk about is just the gap between content because we know Guardians of the Galaxy is coming out at the beginning of May. We know that the end of April, which is fast approaching, is the anniversary. And they always do a big banger update for the anniversary. Last year was Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness 2, or Multiverse of Madness, sorry, whatever. Uh, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, whatever. They've done a bunch. If you take a look at the future past here, there's only six days left. But in six days, they should be dropping the teasers for the next update. But now, by having a second mid-month, which was always a possibility to delay the Guardians update... Um, by, by doing that, you now have a situation where the update can actually land um, uh, later, right? Instead of having a, this massive dry spell, because basically Thanos and Squirrel Girl, right? They dropped last week uh, on the 4th, and then we basically thought there was going to be nothing for one, two, three weeks, three or four weeks, right? Of just nothing, which is unusually uh, long for Marvel Future Fight, especially since they introduced the mid-months. So having a second mid-month here, which seems like it's going to land on the 18th slash 19th, depending on your time zone, um, means that there's now a more comfortable uh, time, uh, you know, time frame. And it probably, we're going to get Sharon next week, right? And then they're going to start dropping sneak peeks at the end of next week. So probably on like the 21st of April, they're going to start dropping sneak peeks for the Guardians update that they then want to do and drop on the 2nd or 3rd of May. That's my guess for why they you know had a second sort of back-to-back -back, um mid-month but this is very interesting so yeah sh should be cool um i don't think we're gonna get the guardians update after the movie comes out i know some people were hoping to see that so we can get like spoiler um spoiler based uniforms spoiler based animations uh, i don't think we're gonna be getting that they would have to like do another mid-month um you know another another like mini update to delay Guardians even more if that were the case. But also, we know that that's probably not going to happen because the um, the coupon code starts on April 26th. And it's there's no way it's going to start on the 26th if um, there's no update, right? So yeah, going over to the forums, here's what they said. The superhero who battles evil in her quest for peace and justice has returned. The captain of a new generation. Check out the new look and powers. So we know new look means uniform and powers means tier three or tier four or transcendence, I guess, of this superhero who uses her lance and shield to protect the world. We will announce more information. So this kind of blew me away. Apparently, it's just Sharon. I'm not necessarily complaining because Sharon is one of the most popular characters in Marvel Future Fight and one of the strongest. So getting her tier four is going to be huge. Getting her even to level 80 is going to be absolutely massive. She's probably going to be one of the best characters in the game to focus on. Um, but you know, and I know, as well as anyone else who covers this game and who's played this game for a long time, that Sharon never comes alone, right? She always comes with the familiar friends, Luna and Crescent. At least Luna, right? Like Sharon and Luna originally got their tier threes at the same time, sort of back to back. Uh, and then Crescent started getting bundled in with them a little bit later. But it's very surprising to think that we're just getting Sharon. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they're hiding something, you know? But we'll have to wait and see. If we check out the sneak peek here, this is what it looks like. We get the new uniform. And then... It's a little, ooh, it's a little cut off and it's a little off center here. All right, we'll play it again. We'll loop this bad boy and we'll play it again. 
right, let's move this over so it's more centered. So yeah, Sharon Rogers tier four. You can see there tier four. So they did same thing they did for Dr. Octopus. They're reusing this format. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Nah, it's okay. Listen, some of the sneak peeks are bangers. Some of the sneak peeks are copy and paste. It's okay. I'll forgive the sneak peek team. Okay, we've we've established a formula. We've got the sneak peek A team and the sneak peek B team. No offense to the B team, but yeah, you guys are you guys are reusing the same template. I can't give you full credit for this one. I can't give you full points, full marks. Um, when you guys go, you know, when the A team shows up and they start doing the, you know, 3D model, all this crazy shit. Uh, yeah, that's when I cream my pants. So, yeah. And then we got Sharon. Uh, it looks a little, it looks a little odd. Um, the design, from what I understand, is very similar to Danny Ku's design. If we go over to his Twitter page, you will remember that he has posted a lot of drawings. Most recently, the stuff that's not um, Marvel related. But if we go back, as you can see here, and I actually made a video on this. This is what we thought would be like, this is what we thought the looks would be for the new uniforms. So it's a little confusing. He's made several drawings recently of Sharon. So this one is, is very different than what we're seeing now here, right? Like the shield is completely different. This is just very classic. Um, the lance is completely different. The, the outfit is completely different. Um, and then the one he drew, so this is the, this is the one from uh, a few months back, January. Um, before this, that's magic. That's the Warriors of the Sky. I think the Sharon one is from quite a long time ago. Uh, let me go back and find it here where we had one for Sharon, one for Luna. There it is. So this one here from December of last year, this is much more similar. It's not exactly the same. It's not exactly the same, but it's much, much more similar. It's, well, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. The skirt is a little longer. Uh, they added something to the front here to make it look a little bit diff more different. It looks more like a sailor outfit as far as like the Navy goes. But I think it also takes inspiration from um, Sailor Moon as well. And I think the boots are very similar with the wings on them, which I, I actually like the winged boots. They look pretty cool. But yeah, so this is this is the look. Some people are calling it Harley Quinn. Some people are calling it um, Sailor Moon, Sharon Rogers. I'm, I'm you know, I want to see it. I think it looks a little odd here. To be honest with you especially when they zoom in but i think this is because of the way it's, it was rendered it looks kind of, you know what it looks like it looks like the graphics from like early 2000s games um there was like a chainsaw lollipop or whatever game it kind of reminds me of that but i think it's more with the rendering and the lighting that they use i think it's going to look a lot better in game because this gives it a very cartoony feel which is why I think people are saying, oh, it looks like uh, Harley Quinn, right? Cartoon characters, right? The Batman villain. Um, but if you look in game, right? If you compare in game, in game, she looks a lot more like real. I don't know how to describe it, but the, the art style and the, and the graphical style in MFF has always been very real, um, which is one of the things I really like. And which is why characters like Slapstick stand out so much. I don't think that they're going for like a, a stylized Sharon Rogers uniform. Like I think, this is just in the rendering um, and in the lighting that they used. I don't think that that it's going to look like it's going to change. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going to change the way she looks because you can see her face and it always looks very real and it always looks very grounded. I think even though it's got, you know, more of a, a high, uh, high anime vibe um, that it's going to look it's going to end up looking real. Uh, but yeah, some people really like it. Some people don't like it. I'm on the fence about it because I just need to see it in game. I think that's where, uh, you know, it's better to judge it. I do like a lot of the details on the uniform itself. It's like, I really like the wings. I do really like this Lance. I think this Lance is actually cooler than the Lance he drew on the, on the more recent one. Cause it looks more like a jagged and almost like a shark or something like that. Like it just looks sick, right? It just looks sick. Um, and then the classic shield. I did like the flower shield. I also like the classic shield. I like them both. Uh, this one reminds me a bit more of Captain America. But yeah, it should be good. Um, the elephant in the room is obviously how busted OP Sharon is going to be. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is going to be very interesting because the devs have done a really good job. I have to say the devs have done a really good job in spite of how many combat tier threes we have. They have balanced them pretty well pretty well like they sort of missed the boat a little bit with captain america i would say um by trying to make him a bit too much of a hybrid but even then 
you know there's not a lot of there's not too much overlap like dr octopus is a little bit of a um you know he's a little bit of an over uh, of a power creep over namor and, and moon knight for for abx and abl but he's hideous right he's ugly as, as tits so that's kind of the downside <laughs> to dr octopus and he's also really bad for gbr apparently so th again there's some balance right like just how like, cap is really bad for gbr just how uh shadow shell is really bad for abx and gbr but amazing godly for abl and world boss legend there's, there's a bit of a balance right so we'll have to wait and see it'll be interesting to see if if sharon is going to be just de facto god in which case i probably shouldn't have tier four professor x because i want to tier four sharon um or if she's going to be balanced right because we already have two speed uh speed blast female tier fours with storm and blue dragon blue dragon is one of the best one of the highest dps characters in the game like blue dragon is top five dps in the game people don't know this because uh her tier four wasn't very popular she's not a very popular character but she claps she claps bro look at the tier four a thousand percent right it, it hits hard so we'll see if sharon if sharon out dps is blue dragon we might be looking at the new top dps in the game that's huge that's huge obviously we need new content of course but sharon getting a uniform kind of a big deal top potentially top dps in the game kind of a big deal so yeah start saving your mats if you just returned to the game recently start grinding gbr brothers because you need the soul of the foul team you know you need that soul of the foul team uh or you're not gonna be able to tier uh you're not gonna be able to tier for her so yeah hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think thank you so much for watching smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one take care